Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm a hugger. Should, should we hug? I'm yeah, so am I. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm uh, Jake. Misha, uh, I think I might have crinkled your shirt a bit back there. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think you did. I've, um... Okay, so quick story. My, uh, my grandmother buys me a birthday gift every year and she likes to get me a shirt, and this is a vintage 2013. Mm, no way. Yeah, I'm a teacher and clearly too busy to buy my own clothes. <laughs> so, do you have any um, birthday traditions? Oh, I don't know if I can compete with that shirt. Grandma clearly knows her drip. Hey, she's, uh, she's got good taste. <laughs> I actually do have a tradition. My granddad always buys me a jumper on my birthday. I do love a jumper. Mm, but he's colour blind, so... But instead of seeing the colours differently, he sees them all the same. Mm. It's called, um... Tritonomaly. <laughs> this speed dating business is such, like, an interesting format. Yeah, I think so. I, um... I actually don't get out too often. School's quite full on, so... Summer holidays, though. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You speed dated before? That's a verb. Oh, you're gonna mark me on this day, aren't you? No, I, I wouldn't do that to you. Of course not. Oh. <laughs> I haven't speed dated before. OK. Just use apps and trying to meet people the old-fashioned way. Yeah, me too. I, um, I don't normally do this type of thing, but I kind of thought, hey, why not enlist the help? Mm. You're investing in your own happiness. I love that for you. Yeah. Yeah, I love that for me too. What is most important to you in a relationship? <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you added <laughs> that last part. I'm not sure we're ready for politics yeah. just yet. Three minutes to go. Three minutes? Well, maybe I'd be so bold to say I'm looking for love. What about you? OK, was that too much? No, I mean, it's honest. Nothing else, I'm honest. <laughs> good to know. I want good conversation. Someone who can challenge me intellectually. I think it's reasonable to expect simulating conversation from someone you're spending time with. Hmm. Now, as for the challenge part, so I gave the kids a pop quiz today. That's it. Did you do this with all the ladies? Oh, is it that obvious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, I don't do it very often. Mm. Sure, if we have enough time. Enough for a quick fire true or false round? Mm hmm, okay. Okay, great. Um, question one There is no word in the English language that rhymes with orange. <laughs> um, OK, second question. The Caribbean island of Aruba is part of Portugal. False. The island belongs to the Netherlands, Correct. Right? <laughs> OK, third question. There are 14 bones in the human foot. False. There's definitely more than that. Yeah? Hmm? How many do you reckon? 35. OK, well, you are right. It is false. <laughs> yes. There are 28 bones in each foot. Oh, close. Mm, not close enough. Rude. But wow, you got them all correct. <laughs> you would be in top set. I told you I'm looking for a fellow brainy. Hey, I'm very impressed. Thank you. One minute to go. One minute warning. So what else do you do with yourself, Jake? Besides date randoms? <laughs> I, um, I like to read a lot. It's, uh, yeah, it's one of my favourite hobbies. Air quotes, nice. <laughs> I picked up a book in my time. Favourite genre? Oh, finishing with a toughie. Um, yeah, we could determine our entire future together. Mm, no pressure. Mm. I'm a huge fan of erotic fiction. Really? <laughs> Is that something you're keen on, or...? Uh, I, you know, it's not something that I've tried reading before, but if it's, hey, if you're into it, I'll give it a go. <laughs> mm, bit of role play. Do women look for that when they find out that you're a teacher? No. <laughs> no, they don't, actually. I, I wouldn't be into it even if they did. Right. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and that is time, ladies and gents. OK, well, um, it was over a bit too soon. Mm, it was. Listen, I'd, um, I'd love to be able to contact you. Oh, yeah, and um, what's your socials? Uh, I'm not actually on socials. I don't even have a smartphone. Oh, uh, saving I... this news for the end of the day. Nice work. <laughs> Old school. <laughs> I see what you did there. OK. Thanks. Right. I'll call you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Come on, spill the beans. How do they go? <sighs> OK. Jake was really lovely. He was a teacher. He had some nice shirts. <laughs> so he's a nice guy? He's a really nice guy. He's so sweet. Could you see there being a second date? Yeah, I could. Yeah? Yeah. That sounds lovely. So, Misha, what's going to happen next? Mm, I have one option. Mm -hmm. One's better than none. One is a lot better than none. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. Good. Please, have a seat. It's very formal. Yeah, I thought I'd um, try and change it up a bit. Interview with me. Yes. So, you like the job of... I would. <laughs> you waited. I did. The um, the waiter advised that I should wait for you to open the bottle. Mm, that is good advice. I thought so. How was your weekend? Uh, yeah, my weekend was good. I went to see my sister. Um, <laughs> her kids are super into tractors, so let's just say go very muddy. This is too wholesome. Like, there's got to be a catch somewhere. Not that I'm aware of. Mm, I'm not sure of it yet. Do you get, like, the grandchildren spill when you go home? Every time I go home, I get it. Yeah, so I'm very lucky. I have mm -hmm. three siblings, and they've all got kids, so I'm off the hook oh, for now. good siblings. Do you play with your nieces and nephews? Yeah, only when they're good. Have I been good? That's, like, a roundabout way of me saying, like, <laughs> do you want some game time? OK. OK, quiz master at your service. OK, great idea. Why don't we do one that's, like, about us, like, our lives? OK, go on. OK, so to make it easier, you have to pose answers. So whoever is the quizzer has to pose a question and give three possible answers. OK. OK, I'll go first. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Question one. What is your favourite type of day? Active? Is it relaxed? Or a bit both? One where, like, you feel super amazing by the end of it. OK, I've got an answer. OK. I'm gonna say... Relax. Spot on! Yes. Love me a big night in with some board games. Oh my god, I'm exactly the same. Right? Love board Sorry. games when it's raining outside. Wet play. Excuse me? <laughs> uh, that's what we call it at school. Yeah. Wet play mm. for the kids. Sure. <laughs> okay, my turn. Okay. <laughs> what is your biggest turn on? Kisses, cuddles, or words? You thinking of it? Yeah, I think I've got something. Channeling your thoughts telepathically. You've got this. I'm gonna go with cuddles. Cuddles? Mm. Final answer. Yeah. That's the right answer. Eee! Yeah, I uh, do love cuddles. Mm. Yeah. Prove it. You want to prove cuddles? Yeah, prove cuddles. How, how am I supposed to prove cuddles? I don't know, cuddle something. Cuddle. That looks like an excellent cuddle. Thanks. Pricked me in the cheek, but we're good. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, all right, my turn. OK. Question three. Uh, what do you value most in a partner? Kindness, bravery, or honesty? It's a tough one. Can I choose all three? <laughs> no, you have to prioritise. Okay, okay, I can choose if I have to. Uh... Okay, I've got my answer. I mean, personally speaking, I hope the quality that you value most in a partner is kindness. Mm. That's cool, but I think I need someone brave. Like, ambition-wise and physically and emotionally, like... 
I think I need to feel safe above all else. Okay. You want someone macho? It's fair enough. Question four? Question four. What is the key to your heart? Is it wine? <laughs> <laughs> is it food? Or is it conversation? No, oh, this one's easy. Yeah. Mm, actually. Okay, spoke too soon. <laughs> conversation. Bingo. Helen, did you say that because I talk a lot? Uh, Do you think I talk a lot? No. Um, <laughs> I'm actually more of a foodie myself, so... I'm just kidding. OK. <laughs> oh, my God. Can't be worried. So, have you ever cooked dinner for anyone on a date before? It's kind of my signature move. Mm, what's your star dish? <sighs> my star dish is risotto with some parmesan, a bit of truffle oil. Mm, I'm speechless. Yeah, wait till you try it. Mm. So, if you like cooking, have you ever tried food play? Is this a follow-up question? No, I haven't. What about you? This wine is delicious. <laughs> Deflecting, OK. Yeah, it's one of my favourites. Mm, food and sex. I'm thinking they're two things that should be separate. Sounds messy. I'm 100% happy to never talk about this again. We could be vanilla together. Who are you calling vanilla? I mean, you, but like Hagen Dazs vanilla. Yeah, fair enough. It's my favourite. Mm, shocker. <laughs> so, would you say you're a romantic? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do you believe in like the one? Yeah, I do. I do believe in the one. I'd like to think that there's someone out there waiting for us. That is just right. I don't know. <laughs> Call me soppy, but I'm a bit of a, a bit of a wide-eyed optimist. I do believe in the one. I think Plato might have been onto something. That we're all just wandering around, searching for other halves, looking to complete ourselves. <laughs> yeah, and not that we're half a person, but I definitely believe that there's someone out there that fits with us perfectly. Mm, exactly. It's not that we're lacking in anything, it's just that they add to us in a way. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't think it happens overnight, <laughs> but... There's definitely one person out there for you. And you may start to get to know them and you spend some more time with them. The next thing you know, you want to spend the rest of your life together. More like a slow burn, then. Exactly that. It's whiny. That's what they call me. <laughs> It's been so lovely. Yeah, yeah, it really has. Um, listen, thank you for coming on a second date with me. Mm, likewise. Yeah, really appreciate it. I've got this one. No, come on. I insist. I'm not going to fight you on it. Then don't. OK. <laughs> OK, thank you. You're very welcome. Just a touch. <laughs> OK. Shall we? Yeah. Let's. After you. <laughs> Such a gent. I do try it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I've been wanting to ask you something. What? Very important. Oh, gosh. You ready? No. Well, I'm going to ask you either way if you're ready or not. Who is getting the call for the third date? Do it now. Mm. Oh, hey, how, how are you? <laughs> yeah, good. Um, I was just wondering if you maybe wanted to hang out again. I, I, I had a really lovely time. Last, last time. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, of course. Cool. Okay. Uh, um, bye. Yes. Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>
Here we are. <laughs> oh! Yes! Yes! You did it! I did it. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of me too. Hey. Hey! Hey! <laughs> oh, you again. On to you. It's a um, really lovely spot you found here. Oh, I have a skill. I'm really glad I went to be dating. It's nice to be here with you. You always know the right thing to say. You're being suspicious of my wholesomeness again. I think you're probably made in a lab. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? Uh, the speed dating event. Oh, yeah. I assume you came on your own. I had to bring my mate. I did. Came on my lonesome. Mm. Who did you bring? My mate Ryan. But I didn't tell him it was a speed date until he got there. No. How did he take it? I mean, pretty well, considering. No. Is he an ex? Go on. Or... No, 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 no. Why, are you friends with your exes? My friends with my exes? Uh, <laughs> yeah, all of them, in fact. They uh, they ended amicably, so we thought, why not? You? No, oh, now you're asking. I mean, listen, we don't, we don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Actually, I am friends with my exes. I mean, not all of them, but some. Hey, we are all nice people. Mm, I choose to that. So how was your week? Uh, my week was good. The children are rehearsing a play at the moment, so that's keeping them busy. Um, they're learning this song, and their voices are terrible. <laughs> I mean, there is this one little girl who's got a very angelic voice, so that's good. It must be hard not to play favourites. Yeah, I mean, they're special in their own way, so... You really love your job, don't you? Do you think you'd quit if you won the lottery? It's a good question. Um, I mean, I don't play the lottery, mm. so... Maybe. I don't know. If the time is right. You? Mm, it's tough. I've still got two-thirds of my life to live. There's plenty of things you can do with that time and money. I love work, but I'd sack it off to enjoy life. So you can't enjoy it while you're working? Maybe if they made four-day weeks a thing. Yes. That sounds like an idea for the unions. Mm. But I'm not going to win the lottery anytime soon, so... <laughs> I'll probably just wait to whatever age they make retirement by the time I get there, which would be like 100 or something. Mm. When that happens, I don't know what I'll do with the time off. Probably just sit and watch TV or something. You'd have earned it. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's told you this. Why? <laughs> but you really look like Claire Foy. Yeah, many people have told me that. Yeah. A lot. <sighs> What's this? This is a wonderful game called beer tasting. Mm. Now, beer has cost me a lot of calories in my time, but it is a guilty pleasure. Mm, I used to count calories. It became a trend in my school to have an eating disorder. Yeah, I've, um... I've actually got some children who are starting to show some early signs of that. Do you talk to them about it? A bit. Um, we speak to the parents about, you know, positive body image, um, just that we're here to support them. I think positive body reinforcement's really important. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I'm sort of working on a campaign right now where, again, we're just working with the parents, letting them know about telltale signs when the kids are overeating, undereating, that sort of thing. That's the thing, isn't it? People get so good at hiding it, it's hard to spot, let alone discuss. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry if I was insensitive about the, the calories comment. No, no, not at all. Okay. So, I don't know if you knew, but this place is actually really famous for its blind beer tasting. Ooh. So you've got to choose which one's the most expensive. Ah. So the barman's put a red ring so we know which one it is. So come here. <laughs> God. Hey, stay still. Stay still. Stop. Yeah. OK. You're not going to pull anything funny on me, are you? I feel very exposed. Do you want me to do something to calm your nerves? Well, it depends what it is. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Silly Jill forgot her pill and now they have a daughter. <laughs> I, I don't think I know that one. Mm. J just don't take it to work with you. <laughs> yeah, this is very treacherous for my trousers. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Hey. <laughs> Better. You are keeping your cards close to your chest, my so friend. Try. <laughs> oh, 
Which one? That's the one. What? Yep. Was I right? Yeah! Yes. Oh. Okay, my turn. My turn. Okay. I'm not using that. I'm not using that. Come on. No, no, no look. I can shut my eyes. Okay. I won't cheat. Wait, okay. there's no red ring around yours. Well, choose one now based on, like, the colour. The same. I'm mm -hmm. Numero uno. Yeah, this is a bit scary. Oh, yeah, I've got to give a chance. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I drank more than that. Oh, hoppy. Very hoppy. Hoppy, yeah. OK, fine. Okay. Next one. Mmm, fruity. Yeah? Yeah. OK. Don't mind that. Last one. Oh, ah, ugh, very acidic, that one. All right, a moment of truth. Which one? Mmm. Tough call. I think it was the second one. Second? Yeah. Yes. Yes! Go Yay! <laughs> Good. I love a woman who knows a bit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, before we go any further, um, I guess I just want to check in with you about something, if that's good. Dark secret reveal incoming. Um, no, no dark secrets. Oh, shit, I was certain that was it. OK, I'm listening. Um, I guess while I'm not the most, like, exciting guy that I'm sure you've probably met, <laughs> um, I, I guess I'm just not looking for a bit of fun. Cards on the table. Um, so if you are looking for a serious relationship, then then great. If not, that's completely fine. I don't want to pressure you into saying anything you're not ready for. Um, so it'd be great to know where you are, if, if that's all right. I do want a relationship. I mean, single life's been great, but I think things could be better. I think I'd like to be in love. Like, find someone where I could be with them, but also, like, be myself, if that makes sense. Yeah. I don't think I realised that until just now. Revelation for us both. <laughs> I've really enjoyed tonight. Yeah, me too. My friend's having a um, fundraiser next week. If it's something you'd be interested in, I don't know. What kind of fundraiser? Mask ball. Oh my god, yes. Yeah? Great. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to kiss you right now. I've been thinking the same thing. <laughs> that was nice. 